We're living a very simple and minimalistic life out here in the forest. But today, we're changing all of that. I'm a big movie nerd, but for the last four years, I've been watching all of my movies on a small little laptop on the kitchen table. So today, this place is getting a massive upgrade. We're building our very own home movie theater, cabin style. First of all, we have to pick up a couch, or I've already picked up the couch, but it's in the car and the car can't access the cabin anymore because it's <laughs> it's too much snow. So we have to figure out a way to transport it from the car, which is 400 meters that way through the forest and all the way back up to the cabin again. As you can see, the couch is now assembled and ready, and we managed to do something that not all couples can do together. We did the relationship IKEA test. It's basically when you buy furniture from IKEA, they come in all just in different pieces, and you have to put it together yourself. And if you can manage to do that, especially bigger items, and you can do that together as a couple without breaking up, then you passed the IKEA relationship test. This feels so nice. It's made out of 100% wool, which is kind of nice. So happy. Thank you. 
Easy. So this is the projector screen. <laughs> Christine is going to kill me. I promised her to not buy something too big. And <laughs> this is literally like almost the whole length of the room. It's massive. I am very happy, but she's going to kill me. But luckily she's in Denmark right now and she's not gonna be able to see this until it's too late. I think I have to put it here for now. I'm, I'm thinking of building like a small, like box for it, so it gets hidden when we don't use it. And then I guess we hit up. Well, that's a screen. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Wow. I'm very happy it folds down as well. And that's the whole point why we're not buying a TV, because I don't want something that is constantly up on the wall. I want to be able to hide it when we don't watch movies. So this is perfect. I think we can safely say that this is big enough. Like, when the screen is the same height as you are, it's the perfect size. Now it's finally time to unbox this bad boy. I've been doing research for weeks now uh, to get the right projector and the best one. Uh, and it all came, like all the reviews, all the videos I've looked at. I don't know if this is a typical man thing to do, but like... I do just a ton of research. Like when I ask Christine when she buys something, she's like, oh, that, that looks good. And then she buys that. For me, I spend weeks and weeks and weeks, read every review, see every YouTube video about the project, compare different ones. Yeah. And all of them pointed to this one, the four movie projector. So I'm very excited to see what this is gonna perform like. Da da da! Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Kalle! I actually contacted Four Movie and told them about this project, building a cabin, not <laughs> building not a cabin, but uh, building a home movie theater in the cabin, and they were like, "Wow, okay, that sounds really cool." We would love to be a part of that project. So they actually sent me this for free. They haven't paid me to say anything about it. And I will be on very honest when I open it up and see how it looks. But they did send it, send it to me for free. So for movie, thank you so much. Now we have arrived at the... <laughs> now we have arrived at the more critical... Now I have arrived at the more critical part of the build and I've actually called for backup. And as you can hear, he is already here. Hey you. Hey. Hey. Run count.
we are going to build a railing so that you Kalle don't fall downstairs <laughs> <laughs> when he's tired in the morning. Yeah. If you've been watching my videos before, you've probably already seen Lars in previous videos because he's been here helping out with different and other projects. And last time we did something together, we did the, the floor in the hallway downstairs. And I said to you guys here on YouTube to like, can you just like write a comment and say thank you Lars for helping out? And <laughs> I just checked. That video now has 1,000, almost 500 comments. So 1,500 comments and I would say 98% of them is saying thank you Lars. So I want to say thank you to you for saying thank you to Lars because he's a real help around here. And one funny thing else, one other thing that is a bit funny. That is that me and Lars actually met thanks to this channel here on YouTube. I was doing a live stream and then I was talking about how frustrated I was with the roof and it never got done and so on. And then he reached out in the live chats just saying like, hi, I live nearby and if you ever want any help, just let me know. And then we started connecting through Instagram and started talking more and more. And now he's a really close friend. So I really love this community that we've been building up here on YouTube. It's, it's amazing. So now we have extended the floor. You can see these ones are the was the one that were already here, and the more browner ones are the new ones. Or yeah, still old planks, but we actually have to <laughs> have to take down one of the shelves for Christine's bookshelves. Uh, she was not super happy about that, but that's the sacrifice you have to make. Uh, so the planks are now there, and now we're gonna put up these beams. That's gonna be the corners of the. The railing. So we start with one over there, one in that corner, and then probably one there as well. So it would be like a almost like a bit of a balcony. So thank you, we can't count that, huh? Yeah. Any chance to down it then? Ligger en bra kant i kant här. Ja, här är kant i kant. Där vi har någonting. Steady as a rock. We're doing markings for the drill holes for the iron. So when they go from up to down, they're gonna match. Yeah. Now we decided on taking. 10 centimeters in between each rebar. We tried it 15 to begin with, but it was a bit too open. Yeah. I would say. So yeah. we are a bit afraid that the dog can put their heads out. Specifically Nala. So just to make it simple, Lars have made like a, I don't know if you can see it, like draw it on the middle little marking on the drill so I know how deep to to drill basically. We usually use tape but we didn't find any tape so this has to do. Here we are, 52 holes later. A bit of a mess. <laughs> How many of these are you doing? Uh, 26. Yes. I've done 16. So 10 more to go. Okay, that's quite quick there. Yeah. So.
後ろにこの入る入るのか。So now this segment is done, but we decided to extend the whole railing so it becomes more of a, like a balcony because we noticed that when <laughs> Nala went from the bedroom this morning, uh, she went that way, straight over. So I think it's safer for everyone to extend it a bit. It's a bit funny when we do these projects because <laughs> I'm such a perfectionist and I wanted everything to be exactly correct and exactly leveled. And uh, Lars can be a bit frustrated with me because he and I know it like the whole house is a bit crooked. So make it, making it completely straight is uh, kind of impossible. So building in a very crooked house is not for a perfectionist, I would say. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks for this time. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Lars has now left us. <laughs> sounded very depressing. Uh, I just mean that he's jumped in his car and is now driven home to his family. So it's up to me to finish this project now. So I'm gonna put up the projector, the screen, and make it really, really cozy. And then movie night. One of the reasons I chose a projector and not a TV is because a TV is most of the time just off, which leaves you with a rectangular reflective area in the usually the center of the living room and it's not pretty and the projector you can just easily hide away and the screen rolls down and everything so it's just very convenient and that's why i fell in love with this projector because it's such a clean look it doesn't take up any like visual space at all uh, there's no random cables there's a power cable and that's it and it comes with this very convenient remote so there's no extra thing, it's just, just a box and the power cable and everything just works. When you think of normal projectors, you usually have them like behind the couch or over your head or something like that, which makes it be in the way. Because whenever someone just moves in the couch, you can block the view of the projector and the screen gets interrupted or the audio even comes, audio comes from behind, which is not the best experience when you're watching a movie. And this, that is what this projector solves. These are called ultra short throw projectors, which means they can stand right here and then just have a few centimeters to the screen and then shoot it straight up. To get even nerdier, I actually need my phone for this one. This projector is the world's first 4K HDR ultra short throw laser projector with Dolby Vision. One thing that is almost more important to me than the actual image quality is the sound. If you've been following my videos before, you know I'm, <laughs> I'm very much of a sound nerd. I even have a three years bachelor degree in sound design and music production. So I do know my stuff and I'm very, very nerdy. So I had high expectations for this one because it promised a lot. And it actually lived up to all the expectations I had. It literally feels like you have a cinema in your home. You have the cozy couch, you have the high quality image and really, really good sound because Without the sound, the image is still gonna look really crappy. So 
cheaping out on audio is not really an option when you go for high quality video, if that makes sense. And the funny part that this screen, this is a 100 inch screen. This projector shoots up to a 150 inch screen, but I didn't dare to buy the biggest one because then I will be single, I think. So I bought the second biggest one, a 100 inch. But with the projector, you can just like basically move it around in a room and adjust the size of the screen depending on how close you have to the wall. And you, you don't need a screen to watch it. You, you can shoot up on the wall, but it's way better with an actual dedicated screen. And this projector works as a smart box, which basically it connects to Wi-Fi downstairs. So there's no cables for that either, which is very convenient. So I just hooked it up to the Wi-Fi and then I can watch YouTube, Netflix, um, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, or whatever I want to watch. And it's just there. All of it. And yeah, it is a bit of a price tag or kind of a hefty price tag to be honest. But if you think what you get for it, this kind of quality image with this kind of sound system, the smart features, it's just... I can really recommend buying something if you have the money for something like this. Because I would never recommend something that I don't really would use or buy myself. But enough technical and nerdy talk. Let's fire this one up and then I will show you the end result of this whole room that we have created. Well, this turned out quite epic. So thank you so much for watching this video. Now I want to dive into my Star Wars marathon. So I'll talk to you guys very soon again.